Thank you. Hi, uh, everyone. Uh, I tend to say good morning, but I'm in, I kind of realize we're all in different time zone. So yeah, just hi. Uh, my name is Lin Xiang from University of Kentucky. I'm here to present a service study on high school teachers understanding of complex system. So I'm going to share my screen so that you can see my slides. Okay, hope that works. Okay. All right, I hope you can see my slide. Okay, thank you. So the motivation of the study and is uh, the fact that system has been defined as a very important theme and concept in science education over the past two decades. Um, in science education, we define a system as a organized group of related objects or components that form a whole. So now, um, early uh, this century, we can see the benchmark for science literacy kind of um, propose that students should be able to think um, the parts of the system and also think about the system as a whole. That's a really important high order thinking ability. And then in the next generation science standards, si uh, system is defined as a cross-cutting concept. And if you look closer, you can see on the seven cross-cutting concepts are grouped into three um, big groups. And then the one, the biggest one pretty much is the system. So it contains four cross cutting concepts. And basically you can use that to uh, really uh, illustrate a system in terms of the change, in terms of the energy and matter change and flow in terms of scale and et cetera, et cetera. So the system become really, really important tool for students to learn about the natural system, the natural world and the scientific knowledge. And in a really rough way, we can categorize system into two big groups. Okay, there are a lot of ways to categorize them. So the simple system contain the few parts and uh, behave according to the simple rule. And also the complex system yeah, contains a lot of individuals and they interact according to uh, different rules and then they can be really complicated that eventually generate this emergent dynamic uh, system level behavior. So then in science education, um, when students get to the middle and high school level, they really uh, are expected to kind of start to learn about a complex system. However, uh, we find out the literature said people who have limited knowledge of a complex system, they tend to like only focus on parts. They kind of assume the central control. They kind of confused about this emergent levels and the behavior. And also they fail to recognize the feedback within the system. And the research on the students um, learning about concepts uh, complex system find out like a student really need this specific knowledge and the thinking processes and they need to be taught explicitly on that. So you can see this just call our teachers that I go okay then can our teacher fulfill that um, responsibility but unfortunately there are very very few studies on how teachers think about complex system. Um, we only find out very few and which suggest teachers do not have a comprehensive understanding of complex system. So we want to extend that and we get into the survey study. We try to find out just before any kind of intervention, like a, say professional development or anything, how our teacher at high school level think of complex system. So here we use the complexity perspective guide our study, uh, which define complex system. Again, you can say very similar to the education. That's the interaction of numerous individual elements. Um, they actually interact, they self-organize, eventually show this emergent complex um, properties that not exhibit uh, by the individual elements. So there's three key things um, in this definition. Their elements, their interaction, and their macro level uh, outcomes. And then under each aspect, you can see there are some concepts related to the, this aspect. For example, when we think of, think of the uh, system elements, 
uh, we think about there should be a certain number, at least sufficient, right? Also, we think about this individual, this elements, they're similar, but not identical. And also they're influenced by their context. And then when we think about the interaction, micro level interaction, yeah, we think about, okay, their randomness built in. And this interaction make all individuals interconnected. And also there's um, often no central control there. Uh, they are decentralized. And also then this interaction lead to the feedback. Then when we move to the macro level outcomes, then we want to recognize the emergence there. So we should know this emergence is not just simply add up the individual behavior, it's a collective results. And these results can only be partially predicted. Uh, and these changes often are not linear and all these uh, outcome can be dynamic, they're not static. So you can see there are a list of concepts we need to know in order to uh, think about uh, complex systems. So our question here, so we really want to know how do design high school teachers perceive the natural phenomena? Uh, what concepts of complex system were, were uh, well understand, uh, understood or not well understood by the high school teachers? And also we wonder if this teacher's year of teaching experience or their subject area influenced their knowledge and perspective. So we developed this survey um, based on the complexity perspective. You can see uh, there's three domains and they also involve the 13 uh, concepts here. So we have um, different questions in the survey. Um, the big part is the 31 Likert scale question. We also have four phenomena question. We wonder how teacher perceive the phenomena. Um, these questions reviewed by the expert and Apollo did. And then we distribute them to the teachers at 56 high school randomly sampled in Kentucky. So eventually we get um, like 145 teachers complete responses. Uh, uh, we have to admit that the response rate is relatively low um, as it's during this pandemic, uh, but we're still pleased to get it back. So majority of teachers are white, that's aligned with the population in Kentucky. And uh, most of the teacher have taught more than 10 years. And we have roughly similar STEM and non-STEM teachers here. Uh, we have more female teacher responded, nice. So the result. Um, so teachers' response shows like uh, many of them did not perceive the provided natural phenomena from a complexity perspective. So here are examples for you. Uh, we ask a teacher like, okay, when you think of a population of rabbits in the ecosystem, you tend to think. So you can see 80% um, teachers, they choose the non-complexity perspective. And then when they think, ask them if you think about the flag tire, um, and then here even more, like 96% of teachers, they think uh, from a non-complexity perspective. Yeah. Sometimes we may argue like, do we have to? But that's not our question. We just only want to see like to what extent teacher kind of perceive uh, natural phenomena yeah, in the complexity way. Okay, well. And then when we look into the concept, we find out that most of the teachers, they are able to understand the uh, elements properties, interconnection, uh, local behavior, multiple uh, causal processes, feedback, system dynamic and the probability. So the main misconceptions show in the system boundary and uh, uh, stochasticity here. And then for the central centralization, emergency and non-linearity, they kind of have this inconsistent response showing uh, maybe a partial understanding. So here we have the data for you to see. You can see for the uh, items, teachers show the a good understanding yeah the more than at least like a 72 percent them align with the complexity perspective but for the uh, the one they show the misconception yeah the most 40 percent normally the 30 even lower uh, are aligned with the complexity perspective and then for this inconsistent responses so because we have more than one items for these three um, concept, then we can see teachers sort of align, um, their, their idea align with the complexity on some of them, but not on other things. 
And the last one, we find out uh, neither the subject, ar subject area nor year of teaching influence teachers' knowledge or perspective. Uh, we also find the STEM teacher, they sort of more confident about their knowledge uh, than the non-STEM teachers. And when we look into the examples teachers use to respond to the survey, because we ask them like provide uh, the example, we find out like uh, both social and natural system were used uh, by the STEM and non-STEM teachers. And that's very interesting. Um, but we do find out uh, that more STEM teachers, they use natural phenomena uh, a natural system than the non-STEM teachers. So um, just a conclusion and discussion. So like uh, we find out that regardless of the subject area uh, or year of teaching, so most, most of teachers possess, possess this incomplete understanding. Um, they did not perceive natural phenomena often from a complexity perspective. So then we feel like this actually support the previous study it shows like uh, there's some knowledge need to be developed uh, specifically through the training or teaching. So this years of um, like a personal experience uh, would not help. We cannot assume teacher gain that just by teaching some of that. So the limitations, so yeah, again, we have a small sample size compared to um, the population. And also we lack of information to understand how teacher thought of those items. Uh, yeah, we really hope to get more teacher and also maybe in the future to uh, interview these teachers. So yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not able to see my chat. I assume like we might just uh, that there. So basically I open to any questions if I have time. Thank you.